My name is Carl Bovner. I teach um, Film 201, which is an introduction to experimental media, and Film 202, current topics in contemporary media, two uh, classes that are part of our foundational curriculum. And then I also work with the graduate students um, teaching graduate seminar and also offering independent studies. I have this great pleasure of teaching this Introduction to Experimental Media class, which isn't meant um, to be correcting students in what they like about film or what brought them to film school in the first place, but rather maybe um, to get them in a position to ask questions about a form they already hold really close. The idea of the class is that um, they're emerging makers um, who want to work in this media, and there's a sense of the class that their agility and dexterity in, in working in this form uh, may be stronger if um, they interrogate the syntax of the media um, uh, more thoroughly or engage with questions about how a film can be or why a film can be. It's not to replace, um, or the class isn't about taste, uh, but it is as a way of underscoring formal concerns so that the students may have um, a broader range of options um, when they use the media to tell whatever stories they want to tell or to use the media to whatever purposes they want to use the media. The Milwaukee LGBT Film and Video Festival is celebrating its 30th annual festival this October. I've been with the festival for 17 years now. It was started 30, some, 30, years, 30 years ago by a group of students here at UWM and over the years it came under the sponsorship of the film department who's been hosting it for uh, at least two decades now. Um, it was started by students who just had a desire to see representations that otherwise weren't available and the festival still continues that mission of bringing representations of gays, lesbians, bisexual and trans people um, to local screens. We look to bring work, um, a diverse array of work um, that speaks to the diversity of the community and as well as bringing um, artistic accomplishment that um, may go in whatever direction that um, I guess fits under the umbrella of LGBT or queer. Um, it's been interesting over the years and as a programmer the way in which um, categories are blurred and not as sharply defined as they once were. Um, some makers may identify more as queer than as lesbian or, or gay and their work may contain, um, similarly contain a number of different identities um, that may uh, disregard such categories of um, identity that the festival seems to hold forth. The festival, I hope, um, is keeping pace um, with changing identities and by helping to uh, present this work, may be introducing others to these issues um, as well. Um, so it's, um, the, the festival works to uh, find the best work that's out there. Um, we don't necessarily go um, with an agenda in terms of our pursuits of new um, LGBT film work. Uh, you know, so in many ways the, the makers um, or the, the, the artists who are making work today kind of set the agenda for the festival as we work to include their work. There's filmmakers um, that we've been able to show that merit um, this larger audience that haven't found a berth uh, on other screens, either because of, um, I think, more their international identity um, or maybe the, um, the independent nature of their productions that they haven't gotten mainstream distribution. The festival um, always works to thread within um, its screenings um, work of an experimental nature. Last year we were able to sh um, offer a screening of a recently restored print of Andy Warhol's San Diego Surf, um, for instance. Um, and so we've hosted Bradford Nordine who curates um, the Dirty Looks series in New York City, which is a, a program of experimental queer work. So it's always been a part of the fabric. I mean, the festival, um, works to represent a, a diversity of film forms as well as representation, a, a diverse array of representations. So it, the festival is a mixture of narrative features, of documentary work, of short films, and experimental practice.